Good day, good day, good day, everyone. <laughs> and he starts talking sh about me, but I, there's something like well, about maybe maybe he'll come on my show. Maybe we can talk. But like, tell me what I tell me what I got wrong, bro. Mm, that'd be interesting. Like yeah. you and Glaze, yeah, because Glaze has um. Blaze has a hell of a story. Yeah, I reached out to him at one point. We talked about doing something, and then you know, it just kind of fell off. But uh, yeah, he he, he his uh, his career on the street kind of ended when all this other shit started. Like, hey, good day, good day, good day, good day, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Hey, just in case you join me for the very first time, I am the real Brian Glaze Gibbs. This is my story. I talk about the good. I talk about the bad. I talk about the ugly. Shout out to over nineteen thousand and two hundred plus subscribing i truly truly appreciate each and every one of you that took the time to subscribe hit the like button share comment hey let's get straight to it man you know what a lot of times people do not understand that history have a tendency of repeating itself and years ago everybody looked at these photos from back in the days when all the cats that was hustling all the street legend i'm talking about from brooklyn manhattan queens when they used to have these parties guess what the same shit that Diddy it was doing, guess where he got it from? You know, he got it from them. And trust me, like some of these street legends, if you hear some of the things that they did to women back in the days, guess what? You would not be that in tune. You would not be that friendly or idolizing these individuals because basically right now honestly speaking i know some of the stories with some of these cats from some of these drug crew and bosses or whatever that they more or less like rape sodomize even having women having sex with dogs and filming it so the stuff that diddy doing it's not new man this is shit that been going on for years people just don't speak about it and you know what how many people still got dope VCR tape, man? So when that being said and done, you know what? It's like right now, it's a crazy world. But once again, you know what? They got my man, Diddy. They got him again. Another woman, Sue Sarn Diddy Cohen, on Tuesday, alleging that the music mule and his head of security raped her and recorded on video at his New York recording studio in 2001. Only thing I can say is, man, I know Big Joe Sherman. You know, I know Big Joe. Like right now, when I was like, when I caught the body back in 86 in Brooklyn House in Rikers Island, Big Joe probably like 6'5", like 300 pounds, man. And right now, people are scared of death of Joe. Joe used to tell Cat because he knew I was wild, yo, Glaze is my little cousin. We wasn't relative, but that's what he used to tell people, whatever. So, see, one thing about me, I didn't need people to, you know, vouch for me or I'm your, nah, I can handle my own. So it didn't matter, but to see or understand, like, or even right now was hopefully it's not true about him and Diddy. Hopefully right now is bro like you didn't get down with that bandwagon, man. But listen to this story and I'll be in New York City. This was in 2001. Her attorney by her side, Graves, filed a lawsuit in the New York Southern District. That lawsuit states the following. She was 25 years old, dating one of Combs employees. Combs asked her to come into the studio with him and his security guard, Joseph Sherman. In the lawsuit, Graves states she remembers having a drink before she lost consciousness. And this is a trigger warning regarding sexual assault. Graves said when she woke up, she was tied up and being raped by the two men, Combs and his security guard, forced to perform sex acts that are too graphic to share. Graves explains the turmoil she says she had suffered since that night. The internal pain after being sexually assaulted has been incredibly deep and hard to put into words. It goes beyond just physical harm caused by and during the assault. Some of the hardest parts of this pain are the shame and the guilt I have experienced that plays a negative part in my day-to-day -day ability to function properly, being blamed, questioned and threatened has often made me feel worthless. Graves in the lawsuit says that Combs threatened to ruin her life if she ever spoke about what happened. She says she suffered suicidal thoughts and went through years of therapy and was then triggered in November of last year when she learned there was a video of the quote horrific rape. 
She said that made her want to take her life again, but instead reached out and is now joining dozens of other women and men who allege abuse at the hands of the disgraced media mogul. Greaves is asking for damage. Graves is asking for damages to be determined later in court. She is suing Combs, Sherman, and Bad Boy Enterprises. Combs is already facing at least 10 lawsuits. The impetus for many people coming forward, many believe, is the longtime ex-girlfriend, Cassie Ventura, when she came out with her civil lawsuit. Okay, yeah, I just got finished listening to it. And you know, you're going to have the naysay, oh, man, she just won a bag. Oh, she just making this up. You know what? Listen, man, everybody don't have to make shit up. Regardless, give it a benefit of doubt. But anyway, what she was saying is, even after that took place, she was depressed. She was suicidal. And basically right now, she got the necessary help to get her through that. Despite that happened in 2001. So right now, Wiz, it looked like she had a wedding ring. So she's married, probably got kids and moved away and moved on from that. But what happened is these knucklehead, they film it. And right now, from my understanding, it was going around. And I guess who to say, whether it came back around or they sold the video to somebody or that video got leaked and it just bring back, it opened up old wounds. It brought back old memories. Imagine a damn six foot five, six, 300 pound dude look like a gorilla. You know what I'm saying? Pounding on you. And then you got this idiot, you know what I'm saying, coming around there, you know, dancing, you know, like, what, what should say, want to be a ball up in the video. So he in there probably on one of his pills and some of his spike juice and talking about right now with bad boy for life. Listen, man, that woman, like you said right now, is or probably still traumatized, you know, because sometimes you can think or try to, re, you know what I'm saying, repress something, but then they come back. So even with that being said right now, man, listen, man, like, you know what? It's sad, but all this BS got to stop. And folks, man, listen, man, later for all this, you want to be down with these cats. Well, how the hell you around guys and they gang raping? You know what I'm saying? They gang raping. You know what I'm saying right now? Girls. Like right now, I never got down like that under any circumstance. It's like right now, Wiz, my woman was my woman. My girl was my girl at that time. I didn't believe in that sharing stuff or whatever. So you, these cats right now is, they got history kind of repeating itself. And once again, like I say, don't be surprised. You start hearing some of these stories about all these crews that was out there back in the days that was making all this money. So it was the situation where certain girls they couldn't get, they didn't like that. They feel money can buy anything. So the one that was like high sedity or they call stuck up or whatever, these are the same one that they put that little pill or put their little drugs in their drink and now guess what they having their way yeah you thought you was all that like i told you right now folks listen man trust nobody man trust nobody and don't believe the hype man back then right now diddy got his way of partying from way back when like watching all these other cartoon characters that used to do that bullshit and just so happened right now he just took it to a whole nother level Hit the like button, subscribe, share, support. I am the real Brian Glaze Gibbs. If I can change, anybody can change. One love.